Hello, you fellow YouTubers. I'm Christopher Golosi at Golosi Enterprises, LLC. And today we're going to talk about the Coleman Camp Stove and how you could cook a meal on it. First, you have to do some preparations. One, you've got to make sure you have your camp fuel. Make sure it says Coleman Camp Fuel on it or some sort of white gas suitable for this. Two, if you have any, you got your fuel tank here. In here, there's a little leather grommet. Actually, it's a leather gasket. Use a pair of pliers. And what you're going to do, you see this little ring? You're going to take it off with your pliers. Just be gentle. And it should pop right out. Now, when you're doing this, you should always wear eye protection, or as we in the military like to say, eye pro. Put the grommet down. Gently pop it. And here is the little leather gasket. Now, you can do this a couple different ways. One, you can use a paper towel, which I got. And then you just squeeze and let the oil go on to it because if it's dried out it won't give you that much pressure or no pressure at all and that's bad because let's face it we like to cook or just dip it in and soak it and that's not supposed to work that way but hey it happens all right so we just work it in a little bit just be gentle Now your hands will definitely get greasy on this, but hey, that's the name of the game. Slowly insert it back in. It might have expanded a little bit, and that's fine. Just gently push it in. And there you go. Slide it in. Line up the holes. And you're done. Now, with that being said, you're going to want to fuel the pump, I mean, fuel the tank. Cheap filter, I mean a uh, funnel, always works the best. Unscrew it. And squeeze it in there. Open up the can. Now, a lot of people want to pour this way. That's wrong because you get a lot of splashback. What you want to do is pour from the side down this way where it's the lowest point and it gives you better control. Wondering how much is in here? Take your funnel out. Okay, it looks like you have plenty in there. Recap it. Then take your fuel and put it somewhere safe away from where you're at. Now, if you have any doubt during this time, you have the instructions right here on the camp stove. Now, I have to admit, these things are wonderful. They're bulletproof. I've used them for years. You buy them at thrift stores, garage sales, very cheaply. If you want to buy a brand new one, you go to Walmart. The Walmart ones say unleaded gasoline or kerosene or Coleman White fuel. They work great. The new ones are running about 100 bucks. 
used ones obviously much cheaper. Now what you're going to do is, as you can see how I put it right in that hole, it's going to want to go in here. I'm going to do it one more time. Take it, put it in here, line it up. Make sure this little tip is pointing up because that's how you want to light it. Now we're going to take our pump here. We're going to just keep pumping until we get pressure. Remember, make sure the cap is tight. You're going to have to pump it a good 20, 30, 40 times. But you're going to feel pressure on this. Now, you get it, and you're going to keep your thumb on, and then you're going to keep rotating. Until it locks into place. Okay, it's locked into place, we got pressure. Now, once again, you're going to light it, you're going to crack it open, put the pressure on. Now, Alright, you got that little flame there, turn it up. Keep it going. Now, when it's cold out, you want to warm this tube up a little bit because it's going to help in amortization. From there, you're going to wait a good minute, a little bit longer maybe. And once that's done, we're going to take this, we're going to slowly turn it down. Crank it up. All right. As you can see, it's starting to get hot. But we still don't have that blue flame yet. Coming down. And there you go. It's going to get even better. Now, with the other one, you got this side lever right here. You're going to open that up fully. And there you are. Now you got both pilots, now you got both burners going and you're good to go. Now, you're going to put your pots on here and you can cook. Once again, you got the windscreen to block the wind. And from there, you're good. Now, once you're done cooking, once again, turn this lever and you're going to secure the second burner first. Just remember, Last in, first out. And then you come over here. Turn this completely off. You have a little bit of leakage there, it's no big deal. You can always blow it out or you could just let it go. It's not going to hurt anything. So we'll go again. And we're done. That's how you light and maintain a Coleman camp stove. Thank you very much for watching.